Hey guys, what's up? This is RV Epson 100, and today I am finally back with another video. I know it's been so long, right? Um, but I got some new software, worked out a couple of things, issues that I was having, and now I'm finally back um, with a good app review for you guys today. Um, so today I'm going to be reviewing an app that came out maybe four days ago. I'm not really sure exactly when it came out in the U.S., um, but it's been around for about a year and a half as far as I know in the UK, just taking everything by a storm in the UK. Um, so I looked into it a while back uh, before it was really big and uh, found out it was in the UK and wondered if it would ever make it to the US. But here we go. Um, so our app for today is Spotify. And um, this app is um, basically like Pandora, but it's an on-demand music service that's on-demand music service that streams the music to your computer. Um, so if I open it here, uh, you see the window here, and first when you open it, you'll be seeing the new releases window, so this is everything that came out recently, um, just all the new CDs and stuff. Um, it also has Spotify's Twitter feed, I think, and anybody else that you've added on Facebook that uh, is talking, but no one, none of my friends really know about this yet. Um, so here you can go into the top list here, and uh, here we have all the tracks and albums that are in the United States that so, um, are the top albums. So uh, I can just I can click on a song right here, and I can just start listening to it, and um, it's all stream. So this song is not on my computer right now. Um, so it makes it really easy to be able to listen to high quality songs and get them for a cheap, a lower price than what you would get it normally, or much cheaper than what you would get it normally. Um, so if I go here, I can go to my play queue here. So these are the songs that I have queued up. It just went into the playlist. It just went into the playlist with all the uh, top songs. Uh, I can go to in, in into my inbox here, and this is any friends that I've had uh, that I will have in Spotify. They can send me songs and say, hey, dude, check this out. This is a really awesome song. So I can go here to my inbox and I can listen to that. Uh, here we have our devices tab, and what's really great about and what's really great about Spotify Premium is it allows you to put Spotify on your phone and your playlist and stuff. Um, so I have my iPhone connected via Wi-Fi, and that's really all you have to do. Um, so while it's over Wi-Fi, you can go here. You can either choose to sync all the music that you have in your. Uh, you can choose to sync all the music you have and make it so it's available offline um, here. You can also just check it out by playlist like I have here that's available for offline use. You can listen to all these playlists actually on the phone in the cloud. Um, so that's really cool. Um, it's re it works really great. Uh, great sound quality, all of that. Here we have our library here. This is just all your iTunes stuff plus all the, uh, this is all the iTunes stuff plus all the stuff that you've gotten from, plus all the stuff you've gotten from Spotify. So uh, some of it is actually in the library, like I don't think, oh no, that's open. Um, this is just not in the Spotify library, I'm not sure. This is actually in my computer and it works. Um, local files, these are all the songs that I have on my hard drive itself. Start or any songs that maybe if you're looking around and you don't want to put it into a playlist, um, you can just check the, let's see, where is it? You can search for something here. Uh, let's say Not Afraid by Eminem. And uh, I can star this right here, and it shows up in my star folder. So it's like, hey, I, this sounds like a cool song. Let me start it here, and you're walking out the door. You can start it, go on your iPhone, and uh, listen to that song in the car. So that's really great. And then you have iTunes playlist, or again, everything that's in your iTunes. And then you have any playlist that you've created. So I created this playlist just today for the purpose of this video. And uh, this playlist just is really... Uh, not complicated and stuff. So you can arrange it by track. It doesn't really matter. The artist, the album. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Um, but the cool thing that made me actually buy premium was the available offline tab here. So say I'm going on a road trip or something and I'm not have Wi-Fi, but I want to put these songs that I have in this playlist onto my iPhone. I can just flip this little switch right here that's available online. And um, it syncs it all to my computer right now. So if I turn off the Wi-Fi here, I can go into a song here. And it's playing. So it's really 
Um, it's really great to be able to get music in every way. So now I'm going to be going into a little bit why I think this is going to be such an iCloud killer. Um, I think this is what iCloud is kind of getting at, but really hasn't hit it. We don't know yet because iCloud isn't um, available yet. But this is what I think. I think Spotify is a great service that allows you to get all the music that you want for a low monthly price. And I think they've hit it really great with that, um, that you can... Buy, you can get, download all the music that you want for only $10 a month. So I think it's really great that they've been able to do that, and um, it's going to be a great thing. I think iTunes Match kind of did that in a sense of consolidating your library in one place, but it's not really good about getting music. Um, so the only reason, I, as I thought about it, the only reason you would get iTunes Match is if you download a song off of like Frostwire or Torrent, uh, and it's not good enough quality for you, you can just put it into iTunes Match. iTunes Match gives it to you, and you get the high-quality version with the artwork and stuff. So, I mean, that's the only reason I could see iTunes Match being useful. Uh, this is actually good for getting music, discovering music, all of this. So, I think this is... they uh, Spotify has gone above and beyond... above and beyond what iTunes was meant to do. So, I, I, my recommendation for you... It's just buy this app, buy this uh, premium subscription. It's really worth it. Um, you'll save a lot more money uh, than buying just one song at a time over a month, and you buy thirty songs a month. So you're spending thirty bucks when in reality you can only spend ten and get whole albums. Um, so again, I think this is a really great app. Um, I will give you the link in the description to the website. So uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.